Hey everyone, I'm super excited that you're joining me again today for another episode of Total Voice TV. If you're a singer that's serious about getting results from your voice, I wanna add value to your journey by connecting you with interesting people, information, and resources. So it was a gorgeous spring day in London. I was walking along a tourist mecca, the banks of the River Thames, and I chanced upon this busker called John Clapper. Um, I thought here is an interesting guy to talk to you because he was playing to a really tough crowd. There is so much foot traffic and he needs to be able to stop the traffic, get their attention. He was a really great busker, a nice guy. I'm excited that he agreed to speak to you and um, hope you'll enjoy what he's got to say. I apologize about the wind and the, um, all I had on me was my mobile phone and I didn't wanna miss this opportunity to speak to him. So please enjoy, I know you'll get a lot out of it. See you soon. Standing here on the banks of the Tem um, with a pretty talented young busker named John Clapper. What's up? So, hello, John, and thanks for joining us on Total Voice TV today. I just could you tell everyone a little bit about what you do? Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm a busker here in London. Um, today, I'm on the South Bank. Um, I busk here whenever the weather's nice, pretty much. <laughs> um, but I, I'm most commonly found at the train stations. Uh, and I have a residency in Camden, so um, this is how I make my living, um, farming predominantly on the streets, uh, busking, and then also just general gigging in the evenings in, in bars and restaurants and places like that. And what led you to become a busker? Uh, it's an interesting story actually. I, I got myself a job teaching um, uh, for a company called Rocksteady, uh, mm -hmm. teaching uh, instrumental music. Uh, so it was like pop and rock instruments uh, mm -hmm. to kids uh, and the idea was that they, they learned how to play together in a band and they could be taught them, like current pop songs and stuff like that. Um, so it's School of Rock basically. And uh, yeah, what we did um, is when I moved down here, I had the job but it didn't start for like five months. So I needed to make some money while I was living down here. So I looked into busking and we have Busk in London here which is a really good uh, organisation which helps buskers. Uh, and they got me some good spots and pitches and told me about licenses and stuff like that. Um, so I got out there, started playing, uh, and I just realized it's quite a nice way to make a living. Like, it wasn't, I wasn't scrounging, you know, I was doing okay. And uh, I did my, I, after the few months had passed, I'd been busking for a while and enjoying it, and then I went and did my job. Uh, and the job was a great job, but after a year of it, I was, I was sort of like, you know what? I, I was really enjoying the busking, so I'm going to go back to, to yeah. doing that. And, and then since I've done that, I've had all sorts of great experiences. I've done, I had a chap who saw me from uh, Paris who invited me over to Paris to play for him. Wow. Uh, I've done some gigs in Denmark. Yeah. Uh, I just recently come off a two month uh, Caribbean cruise, which is all down to the fact that I had the availability to do the audition. Yeah. So yeah, there's, it's, it's been a really good experience, the busking. It's fantastic. Do you have any special training or skills to be a busker? Um, so I had guitar lessons since I was eight years old. Yeah. So I've been doing guitar most of my life. I can't really remember a time I did. Um, and then the vocals is, is something that I sort of picked up very slowly. My guitar teacher always encouraged me to sing and play, which I think is something that I try and encourage my students to do as well. Yeah, it's great. Um, but uh, also, I uh, was playing in bands and I was always backing singing, singing backing vocals, singing backing vocals. And I guess that just built up my confidence to the point where I was like, okay, I'm going to get out there and, and sing and play and do it on my own. So I started doing that on the side and then eventually it picked up enough that I could do it as a full-time thing. That's what I'm doing. Do you have any special uh, regime for training your voice or warming up before a gig? Uh, I'm notoriously bad when it comes not doing warm-ups. The only thing I will do is I'll do the, the lip roll thing. That, well, just, that's mostly just for me. It's just a way of sort of getting comfortable. Yeah. Uh, I, I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of water. Sometimes just hot water. Um, just to keep, like, I don't know what it was, but it just made me feel like more warmed up. 
naturally well warmed up. Yeah, hot drinks are really useful. Honey is yeah. really good. Um, uh, I also have this weird regime actually, I do do quite a lot. Well, I'll, I'll sort of gag with salt water and then drink like a, a hot drink and put honey in yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, How did you learn to do that? Uh, someone just mentioned to me that it's, it's good for the voice, it's mm. good for the throat. So I think I got ill, so I started doing it because it, I realised it made me feel a bit better. Yeah. And then I just realised actually that's quite a nice thing to keep going. Like, yeah. Sort of, it seems to work anyway. Do you have anything? covers I do, I transpose them so I'm at a point where I'm comfortable when I'm singing. What I would like to be able to do is improve the range of my falsetto. Um, I feel like there's a definite ceiling to my voice and I'd like to be able to just bash through that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, there's yeah. always a challenge, isn't there? There's always somewhere you want to go. Yeah. So that's, that's it for me. Yeah. And I guess you play to the most challenging audience, like as a busker along yeah, the Thames. Win people over. There's a lot of foot traffic, you have to win people over very quickly. It's a tough gig. Yeah. Like, do you have any hints or tips you've learned about delivering a stellar performance? Um, the main thing for me is it's about song choice. So if, if you choose songs that, uh, that uh, people naturally like and make them stop, then that's that is the main thing is the song choice and just being a nice engaging smiley person i think yeah as well yeah yeah, yeah. that's fabulous now you mentioned the lip bubble so i want to take a second if you go first. so what we're going to do is put uh one finger either side of the corner of your lips okay. and you want to push out and up just a little bit and in your throat you want to say the uh, what we call a schwa bow so it's it sound is uh, uh Supposedly, it's the most neutral vowel that uh, humans can make um, in like a word like uh, America. Say that for me. Uh, America. Yeah, but you say uh, uh you say uh, uh and try uh, to relax your throat. Uh, now, if you can say that uh, behind the lip bubble so it sort of sounds like I can't do it in this. We're looking, so we're looking for a really gentle yeah. bubble and then you can just go from the bottom of your voice right up to your high notes, so try that. Yeah, yeah do that a couple of times where you go from low to high. <laughs> it's tricky. You make it look really easy, it's not as easy as it looks. Now go from high to low. And then you can do just like a couple of little hills, like... So what does that achieve? So the lip bubble kind of gives you a lot of back pressure, so you're getting sound waves being reflected back that can't get out your mouth, and also air that can't get out your mouth at the same time. So that back pressure coupled with the pressure coming up from your throat, in theory, helps to stretch and thin the vocal folds and relax going on here in the larynx so it's a great way that you can warm up just before uh, take five minutes to do yeah. that um, before you have to do a gig and you'll find your voice well, now stays. I know how to do it properly as well yeah so and just that. work on keeping the throat neutral so you're, okay. oh, like yeah that. Okay. so um, thanks so much for hey, taking welcome. time to yeah. talk to us and uh, have a great day um, before we go can you just let people know how they can connect with you if they would like to absolutely yeah so my name is John Clapper uh, spelled as it sounds and uh, you can connect with me on, I've got my website, johnclapper.co.uk, but also uh, Facebook is John Clapper Music, and Twitter and Instagram is John underscore Clapper. On YouTube, it's just John Clapper, one word. And hello from London, everyone. Hello from London. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us today, and thanks to John for a wonderful interview. I thought there were some great takeaway points from today's interview, namely that it's possible to earn a living as a busker and that John actually prefers that over a more conventional working environment. Also that John's work as a busker has led to some interesting collaborations and performance opportunities. 
If you're a performer, John had some great advice for you. He talked about careful choice of songs and choosing songs that engage and connect with your audience. He talked about directing your energy out there and being positive and engaging and not focused on yourself. Um, he talked about knowing your voice and choosing keys wisely. If you're struggling with vocal problems or if you're working hard on your voice technique, you're not alone. Despite working every day in a semi-professional vocal environment, John confessed that he still has vocal problems. He said that he's notoriously bad at warming up his voice. He had some pretty sketchy information about taking care of his voice. And it was interesting to note that a lot of that information is passed along the grapevine amongst performers and may not come from a reliable scientific source. Also, John confessed that he had trouble getting from the bottom of his voice through to the top, and he felt that his voice sometimes hits a ceiling. In voice pedagogy, we call that ceiling a passaggio, passage, break, or bridge. And um, Total Voice Studio teaches a technique that allows singers to move smoothly through that bridge. It's really important if you're working with your voice that you see yourself as a vocal professional and that you involve a good skilled vocal coach in your journey. So that's all from me today. I um, look forward to connecting with you again real soon. Be well, sing well, see you soon.